Okay, I think we are recording, which is a good start. Welcome to those of you in the studio, because right now we don't have anybody online, so it's all about us. For those of you who may be watching the replay, I guess it can also be about you. TC Fit trainer Michelle here. We're doing core and stretch today. Quick rundown. We're going to start on the floor with a five-minute warm-up. Then we're going to do roughly 10 to 12 minutes of core-based strength. A little more intense today, but I'll give you options, so don't hesitate to modify on that. And then we end with my favorite part, which is the 10 minutes of stretching. So that's really the best, the reward. So go ahead, have a seat. Um, we don't need any equipment, but optional will be a mat for some face down work we do today. And then also we're gonna do the hamstring stretch. So if you want a yoga strap, you can have that. So sit however it is comfortable for you and start with a shoulder roll. So shoulders down and back. I cross my legs together. You can go straight, you can kneel, whatever feels best for you. And when you're ready, we're gonna take the arms up and low. Give me three here, so two more. Last one, reach to the top and hold. Stretch it to the one side, up to the top, all the way through. Each side, one more time. And we pull back to center. We're gonna rotate through only what's comfortable for you. You're looking over that shoulder. Rotate all the way around. Think about your inhale, exhale, move with your exhale here all the way to the other side. You're gonna keep that pattern. So as you inhale, you hold. As you exhale, you rotate. Should feel good. You've got it. One or two more breaths here. And as you pull back to center, we're gonna shoulder blade squeeze. I have my arms out in front just because it allows me to think about what's going on. I see those arms moving. This area between the shoulder blades tends to actually get overstretched. Uh, if you're hunching forward, those muscles are lengthening. They're kind of hanging on for dear life. So by creating movement in there, we're increasing circulation. That's gonna help it feel better. Two more. And take the body to a quad position. Hands and knees, relax the legs here. I want you to actively think about drawing the abs in. So that's gonna be actually drawing up towards the ceiling, like you've tightened up that internal girdle, that internal belt. And then I want you to think about lengthening. You're not really moving, but lengthen from the crown of the head out through the tailbone. Make that spine as long as you can. And we're gonna work our balance here. Right arm goes up, this is level one. Level two, left leg, so opposite arm and leg. Reach and hold your lengthening fingertips to toes. For my advanced exercisers, if you wanna to try to lift the right toes up off the floor and really challenge that balance, you can. Choose the option that is best for you. That is the right one. And everything comes back to center. We re-engage that abdominal wall. So drawing the abs up towards the ceiling, still being able to breathe. Left arm reaches out. Option to take the opposite leg, the right toes. Option to lift the left toes up off the floor, working that balance, remembering to breathe. Lengthen, 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 fingertips to toes. And we return to center. Both knees, both hands on the floor. Give yourself a yoga cat cow. We arch the back up, tuck the chin, reverse belly drops towards the floor, eyes come up. At your own pace, we hit three or four more repetitions here. And we're gonna do that same opposite arm leg reach, but just at a little faster pace. So right hand, left foot, we reach. We're gonna draw it in close, nothing. No, that right hand, that right knee, they don't touch the floor. We reach, lengthen, contract as you draw in. Give yourself two more repetitions on this side. 
And then we return to center, that yoga cat cow, arch the back. I like that term cat cow because it kind of gives you a visual of the arching of the back and the dropping of the shoulder blades. But you can also think about this as thoracic uh, or spinal mobility. And we'd find that neutral left hand, right toes, reach. We draw it in, elbow to knee, and then extend. Draw it in, that little abdominal contraction, and reach. You're going to work at your own pace for about four more repetitions. Last one and we draw back to center. So I mentioned a towel today. If you want a towel underneath your forehead, that's optional. We're dropping the body down to the belly on the floor. Head, neck are relaxed. Hands come to your sides, palms up. We talked about that shoulder blade squeeze with our warm up. We're gonna continue that now. So both shoulders squeeze together. That you'll feel your hands and your shoulders leave the floor as you create that contraction, those wrinkles between the shoulder blades. And then we release. You'll feel, you might feel the floor with your hands, but I don't want you to actually rest. So we squeeze and release. Squeeze and release. So it's okay to feel work between your shoulders. It's not okay to feel neck tension. So adjust as needed so your head is comfortable on the floor. You're welcome to stay at this level. Or if you're ready for the next uh, step, we're uh, taking the arms out to a T position. My palms are now down towards the floor. Lift and squeeze those shoulder blades. Release, you might touch the floor, but we don't rest. Squeeze and release. This is our level two. You're welcome to stay here. If you want level three, arms go out to a Y position, so they're overhead. You want to resist the urge to let the shoulders pop up towards the ears. Those shoulder blades are still tucked down and back, even though your arms are high. So three uh, different options for the same shoulder blade squeeze are Y, or T, or palms up with, sometimes we call this the I. So choosing what works for you and release. Hands come in under the forehead, superhero, superman, superwomans. We lift shoulders and feet up off the floor. Feel that low back squeeze and release. My advanced exercisers are going to lift and hold. Or you have the option to uh, continue that movement all the way through. Again, try not to rest. You touch the floor but we don't want to take away that uh, work in the low back. We're going to push through these superheroes for about 15 more seconds. Squeeze, that squeeze in the low back. Final repetition and release. We're moving back to our shoulder blade squeeze, either in your I, your T, or your Y, your choice. Squeeze and release. You're doing great. Push through. Squeeze and release. Don't give up. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Nice job. You're going to hear our music pick up in pace, and our workout's going to do that as well. Go ahead and re roll to your back. We are starting with a basic crunch. Hands behind the head, feet on the floor. Our awareness is right at our midsection, our belly button from our rib cage to our pelvis. We're gonna lift, contract, release. Now that music's gonna wanna push you fast. It's okay to pick up the pace on this one. 
no neck tension. We're not pulling on the head. We're asking that abdominal wall to do the work. Level one stays here. Level two, feet come up off the floor. Knees are at 90 degrees, ankles are at 90 degrees. Starting to feel like the body's maybe warmed up a little bit, like you're actually feeling the work. We started with our posterior side, now we're really focusing on the anterior side. Five seconds. Three, two, release. My beginner exercisers, you're gonna have the option to do an alternating to heel tap. We've done that a lot before. My advanced exercisers, that's everybody here in the room. We're doing a reverse crunch. So the feet are in the air, the heels point towards the ceiling, hands are on the floor next to your hips, and you're gonna lift. Now this only needs to be a few inches. You don't have to go 10 inches off the floor. Just get that tailbone to leave the floor. It, we tend to want to compensate with some momentum and have the toes go over the face. I want you to really think straight towards the ceiling. I know there's going to be a little bit of a rock, uh, a rock and, and roll in your hips, but I want you to think straight up, straight down. Have you been counting your repetitions? Because if you hit 25 repetitions, you have completed the weekly fitness challenge this week. Woo -woo. <laughs> 10 seconds, you've got it, three, two, and one. Nice job, full body stretch. If you need it, fingertips push away from the toes. We're returning to our abdominal crunch. Feet can be on the floor or up, your choice. Lift, squeeze, release. Lift, crunch, release. Lift. When I say lift, it's the shoulder blades leaving the floor. Squeeze. If you want to pick up the pace, you're staying on that higher part of the crunch. It's crunch, 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 crunch. Last 10. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I promise you we'd pick up the pace today. Rolling your body. Level one is gonna choose a plank. Any plank that works best for you, whether that's elbows to knees, hands to knees, or hands to toes. Now my advanced exercisers, once you get into that plank, I promised you a little extra today. You're gonna jump it from the left to the right side of your mat. Looks like this. Go. Never any breaks in this class. We move. 20 seconds here. You're choosing your plank or your jump. You want a midsection. You can tap the toes or a middle option, tapping the toes out wide. Five seconds. Three, two, one, everybody releases belly down towards the floor. Reach those hands overhead, toes away. And we return to our plank. Choose the plank that's best for you. You know all the options, you're welcome to hold. My advanced exercisers who are out there and wanna do this jump again, side to side. Nothing above from the belly button to the head moves. It's all from the hips to the legs. We are going 20 more seconds. Choose what's best for you. I'm watching the clock. Don't worry, I won't make you do too many. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good, everybody's rolling to their backs. Hip bridge. Relax the head, neck, shoulders. Focus on those glutes and hamstrings. We press into the floor with the heat. Both hips, or both, both hips, hopefully, come up off the floor. Feel that glute squeeze and release. So the count on this, it's gonna be lift, two, hold, two, release, two. 
my advanced exercisers, you could do the same pattern with a single leg. We're gonna go for one minute from this point and I'll let you know when we reach the halfway. Don't forget about that breath. Think about the exhale as your body does the work. In this case, that's the lift. Relax the shoulders. They get hiked up and do enough work all day. We wanna focus on the lower body. Halfway, that means we have 30 seconds to go. If you're doing single leg, switch sides. Try to keep that pace at that two counts on the way up, holding for two, and releasing for two. We're so close on this one. 10 seconds. Last repetition. Bring the hips to the floor, release. Both feet are coming up one at a time. Find your tabletop. So ankles at 90 degrees, knees at 90 degrees, hips at 90 degrees. Press that low back towards the floor. Hands are coming up over the chest. We're gonna split or open the hands away from the toes and hold that V, hold that uh, stable, that isometric contraction. Gravity's trying to drop your hands and feet towards the floor. Your abs are saying, no way. I've got it. Exhale back to that starting position. So reset as needed. And when you're ready, create that space between the hands and the feet. Lower your feet, get towards the floor. Lower your hands, get towards the floor. The tougher the exercise is. And we draw back to the top, reset, two down, two to go. Split or open and hold. And release, I promised you one more. Take it there as soon as you're ready. Here's your countdown, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Hug the knees. We have made it through the hard work into the reward, that nice stretching and rocking side to side. Do whatever feels best for you here. We're gonna stretch through the glutes, and we do that with our hip cradle. So I'm gonna cross my right knee over the left, Thread the needle pulling on that left thigh and feeling the stretch on the right glute. If this isn't the one for you, you can always take this right knee and hug it in towards the left shoulder. That's an alternate option. If you need more intensity, you're pushing that right knee away from the body and relaxing head, neck, and shoulders. Holding each of these about 30 seconds today. Go ahead and switch legs. That reminder that we're in the hip cradle. But if you want to release and hold or hug knee to opposite shoulder, that's your option. Hamstring stretch is coming up next. So if you want to use your yoga strap, now's your chance to slide it around the right ball of the foot. Right leg is up and you can either draw in with your yoga strap or gently pull on the thigh, never on the knee. We're not pulling on the knee. We want to hold through the muscle belly. You can keep that focus uh, entirely on the hamstring, or if you wanna take those right toes and point towards the ceiling, then flex towards the nose, that's your choice. Right now we're stretching through the right leg. Think about your left leg though. Can you point those left toes towards the ceiling? 
And if you're feeling like this is too much, you could always take that resting leg and bend the knee. That'll give you a little release uh, through that pull or through that stretch. Here's five, four, three, two, right knee bends, right leg relaxes towards the floor, left leg comes up. Same thing on this side. I'm checking in on my virtual world. I see you out there, CB. We've got four in studio today. We beat the virtual world. That's pretty good. Last five on this stretch, and as you're ready, release that left leg towards the floor. We're gonna bend at the knees, take the arms out wide to the T, torso rotation. So option to drop the knees to the right side and hold, or if you wanna work with your breath, we rotate. We're gonna spend a full 40 seconds here. So if you're holding on the one side, I'll let you know when we reach the halfway. If you're rotating, work at your own pace. In general, slow is better. And if you're on the single side, go ahead and switch. We have 20 seconds remaining. If you're holding that single side, you might even take your eyes and turn away from your knees that added fascia stretch across the chest. And when you're ready, we pull back to center. We're gonna go ahead and hug the knees. That's gonna give us the momentum we need to rock up to a seated position. And then we rotate this all the way through because we're gonna reach the tailbone towards the ceiling with our downward facing dog. Holding here only for about 10 seconds, but I want you to think about your fingers spread and stretch all the way through the hands, relax through the shoulders, tailbone presses two inches higher, and then press the heels towards the floor to feel that calf stretch. We slowly, at your own pace, walk the hands back. That means you're gonna bend the knees. And we're gonna go slow to stand, leading with the tailbone. I want this to take 10 to 15 seconds, at least. So there is no rush as your hands leave the floor and you extend through the knees, slowly rolling through that low back, past the pelvis, into the mid spine. We come up through the shoulders and through the neck. Find a comfortable standing position. So both feet are comfortable, knees are soft. We're rolling the shoulder blades down and back. And then we're gonna take the right foot, step it behind the left. Right arm comes up and over full body reach. you want added intensity, left hand can actually come up and give that right arm a little pull. Always within our comfort zone. And with your next exhale, we release both arms. We're going to switch sides, left behind right. Left arm goes over. You have that single arm option or reach over and grab from the wrist. You guys are flexible today. Good side bends. So close. Five, four, three, two, and one. I want you to go ahead and shake it out. We're taking the arms out in front. Quicker rotation here, one at a time. We're setting ourselves up to head back into the day, giving ourselves a little movement. Here's four, three, two, one. Arms go overhead, reach and lower. 
reach and lower. Two more. Big smiles. We did it. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Thursday afternoon. Holy moly, you almost made it to the end of the week. And next week, Wellness Week, so classes at noon. Check in, me if, in with me if you have questions. Otherwise, it's posted on the board here and it's posted on Mind Body. There's sound bowls next week. There's still a few chair massage options at JFB on Tuesday if you're going to be in that side, as part of the building. And you're set.